Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No No Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to focus on advanced settings for iMovie 10.0.6 which is the newest version you receive when you upgrade to OS 10 Yosemite. And I do have tutorials on those as well and if you go to my link in the description it will link you directly to a playlist of all my tutorials regarding iMovie. So let me go ahead and launch iMovie which is 10.0.6 and I'm going to show you guys to if you go into iMovie at the very top go to iMovie and go to preferences this is where you'll normally find in the old version of iMovie iMovie 9 you'll find here to enable advanced settings but within the new version of iMovie I want to let you guys know right now I've had several questions regarding this but everything's already laid out in front of you you don't really need to uncheck or check any of these boxes that are within iMovie preferences I prefer prefer um, not to check to the iCloud because then this just uses up your internet and it constantly uploads everything to iCloud which I do not like so that's why I have that unchecked so I'm gonna exit I'm gonna show you guys um, where basically everything how everything's already laid out in front of you basically as soon as you've created your event and within that event you created your project which is here my tutorial and you already have some footage imported into that project or that event and then now you have within that project, if you double click on that project, it will open up your timeline. You'll be able to find that footage that you've dragged into your um, timeline. And once you're, you're, you've got a clip selected inside of your timeline, you'll see uh, right up here at the very top, um, right where I'm clicking up here, you'll see all of the options to edit. And normally in the previous version, these were under a, the adjust tab, but now they're all in front of you if you're on iMovie 10.0.6 which you can find by going iMovie, about iMovie, and you'll see right here, iMovie version 10.0.10.6, and you'll find that all the options are already laid out in front of you. Here you have like the contrast, then you adjust the color, the cropping, stabilization, audio, you also got the, this is uh, I believe the sound effects, I mean noise, then you got the speed, basically slow motion fast forward, um, video effects and then also you have just a normal the seconds of the frame which you, duration of the clip you can adjust itself and basic information regarding the clip when you've imported it but here are your, all your main options now the main reason you want to enable advanced settings in the previous version was to use for example picture in picture and a green screen effect now you can still find this all you have to do is simply within your event let's say you have a little clip all you have to do is drag it right on top of the project where you would like to place it right here as you can see I'm gonna drag it right on top now as you can see this clip that I just selected up here is on top of my main clip and I'm actually gonna make it shorter just to make it a little better here as you can see it's on top now you got this extra option within your um, editing options you have this extra option to the left hand far left hand corner if you click on it you'll show you and go down to drop down menu it will show you right here cutaway green screen blue screen effect side by side or picture in picture and uh, when you click on one of these, it will directly take you to that, and you'll see here you are. Here's a picture and picture effect. So that's the basics. Um, like I said, iMovie 10.0.6, um, everything's already laid out in front of you. There is no advanced options button. You don't need to enable anything. Everything's already here for you. And the main reason you wanted to enable advanced settings is if you wanted to use the picture in picture or green screen effect which is now easily available to you all you have to do is simply drag another clip on top of another clip but i hope this answered you guys question be sure to leave a comment and uh, i'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you guys for watching and later Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.